times by six, it goes a little bit like this Six times one is six, six times two is twelve Six times three is eighteen if six times one is six, six times two must be six more than that, which is twelve. And six times three is six more than twelve, which is eighteen. When I multiply by six, it goes a little bit like this. Six times four is twenty-four. Six times five is thirty. Six times six is thirty-six. When I multiply by six, sometimes I use some little tricks. Six times four is twenty-four. Add six to get thirty which is 6 times 5. Then add 6 again to get 6 times 6, or 36. When I multiply by 6, it goes a little bit like this. 6 times 7, 42. 6 times 8, 48. 6 times 9, 54. When I multiply by 6, it goes a little bit like this. Although addition can help you learn your multiplication facts, it's always best to memorize them. Knowing your multiplication facts will not only help with multiplication, but also with division. When I multiply by 6, it goes a little bit like this. 6 times 10 is 60. Times 11 is 66. 6 times 12 is 72. Why don't you try them by yourself? When I multiply by 6, it goes a little bit like this. 6 times 4. 6 times 1. 6 times 7. 6 times 6. 6 times 12. 6 times 8 6 times 3 6 times 11 6 times 2 6 times 5 6 times 9 6 times 10 When I multiply by 6 it goes a little bit like this When I multiply by 6 it goes a little bit like this When I multiply by 6